Hey folks, Nina here once again. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to show my thoughts on the new trailer for the Penguin and, my, and the official teaser trailer. Then I gave my thoughts on for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, the sequel to Tim, Beetle, Tim Burton's Beetlejuice from 1988. And of course the Penguin, which is the TV series on Tomorrow Max late this fall. Yeah, time of September, I think. Oh. I mean, fall is around that time, but anyway. Now I'm going to give. I've been waiting for this movie for a little while. And I know a lot of people don't like the main actor, or the main actors, but. I don't know. I've, I've never seen this trailer. This is the third, I mean, fourth Bad Boys movie. That is, I'm giving my official thoughts on the official trailer for. I don't know poster yet, but for Bad Boys, you rather die. This is the new Bad Boys movie coming out. <coughs> Here's the sequel to Bad Boys Rock, and the fourth installment of the Bad Boys franchise. Now, I know Will Smith did that slap couple years ago of Chris Rock. I, I have no comment on that. I mean, he's human. He made a mistake, but I'm not, this video ain't about that. But I did love, I loved Bad Boys Rock. I thought that was a really good movie. I wish I would have saw that in theaters, but I didn't. But it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, here's some of the kids coming back, I guess, from the third movie. Maybe some for the first movie. We have Joe Pinnell is coming back as Captain Howard. I do like that Will Smith and Mount Horns are coming back as their characters. You just can't have bad boys without Will Smith. And I'm going to see the movie regardless of what he did. You know, again, he's human. He did something really bad. He screwed up. But he's human. We all do that. So pretty much the synopsis is that this, this summer, the world's favorite bad boys are back. They have kind of match of edge, your seat action, and outrageous comedy, but this time with a twist. Miami's finest are on the run. Wow. Okay, cool. But this one was set to be released on June 7th, 2024 this year. Probably timing for summertime, right? Can you get Vanessa Hudson's, the beautiful Vanessa Hudson's are coming back? I should remember her from movies like High School Musical, uh, Journey 2, especially the High School Musical franchise. She, she was in Sucker Punch, Spring Breakers. Yeah, just a pretty really beautiful girl. I'm in Guilford. Uh, you'll probably remember her from San Andreas. She was uh, in the Fantastic Four movie. In 2005 in the sequel, Rise of the Surfer as Mr. Fantastic. Okay, I agree. And I think he was in 102 Dalmatians as well. He's alright. Yeah. But this is my first time seeing this trailer. No, uh, this, is, this is my first time watching it. So... I have it right here on YouTube. Gonna be listening to my headphones with it. I don't want to even cover things or cover strikes from YouTube. So you will see my thoughts as I'm watching this trailer right now. For Bad Boys 4 or Bad Boys Rare to Die. Okay, I'm still on. Right. Just want to make sure when I pop this thing down, because it pops up and and off, that I'm still on camera. Sorry. No. Save that for later. Water for it, baby. Okay, here we go. Don't need a fella, I'm not deaf. Alright, here we go. Bad Boys are gonna die, the official trailer. Alright, here we go, right now. Alright, here we go.
What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -hmm. That trailer was awesome. I loved it. I thought it was really good. It seemed really funny, entertaining. I love the story. Joker, Patillo's. I can't say that his name right. The actor, but I love it when he loses his temporary. <laughs> And he's saying, fuck, fuck, you know, that was funny. I thought that was hilarious. But the whole deal with him getting set up, probably. And then, you know, Bruce Smith and Mark Lawrence on the run. Yeah, their characters on the run. Uh, Marcus and Mike, you know, and, you know, Marcus and Mike on the run. Okay. Some, it's a good plot. Bad Boys for Life was a really good movie. I was expecting that movie to suck because it came out in January. And I, was, I think it came out in January, the third movie. Yeah, it came out in January. And I was like, oh, Bad Boys for Life, January movie. It might end up being a piece of crap. But no, I enjoyed Bad Boys for Life. I was really surprised how much I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed this new trailer. I loved it. I love the action scenes. I sometimes it was a little show you, but I'm not going to look on that, but... It looks entertaining when they meet the rednecks and, you know, the whole scene in the beginning where they shoot the guy in the leg. <laughs> He's like, don't get my head. It's just, it seems their chemistry is still there and their, you know, wit and banter are still there. And Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, spell Will Smith, dude, I'm still seeing this movie. You know, you can't have Mike Laurie, Laurie, can't say that, Mike Laurie, yeah. You can't have somebody play Mike. But not was meant to say was meant. Just wouldn't work. And Martin Lawrence, I think he did good. Of course, they're getting older. But he made me laugh, you know. I thought it was entertaining. I really enjoyed this trailer. This official trailer for Bad Boys or Bad Guy. I loved it. And my favorite film is probably Bad Boys for Life so far in the franchise. Because the best story, the story for Bad Boys for Life was really good. Uh, the first one had the better action. The second one also had a good story. The second one I thought was probably a bit of a weak one, in my opinion, but it was still good. It's just the ending wasn't the best for Michael Bay. Is Michael Bay directing this? No. It's out there and really... I never heard of these guys. Let's see. Never heard of them. Oh, they directed Bad Boys for Life. Well, they did a great job. So I, you know... It's the same that they're back... They won't do a back over that against them, not really. They could have made an awesome back over, but they should... You know, deserve an Oscar. Ed Elbury and Nabila Paul. You know, I definitely can't wait for Bad Boys Forever to die. 
these two did these two directors did a great job, and of course Will Smith and Marvel did a great job. Yeah, it's a lazy sequel, a brand new sequel, that they're on movies, but it worked. Because of the chemistry, because the story was really good. And so was the action was there, but the story was real good too. You know, I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen Bad Boys for Life. But if you guys if you've seen the official trailer for Bad Boys Gonna Die, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this awesome trailer. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And if you didn't like it, if it just wasn't your cup of tea, it's fine. To each his own. You know, we can agree to disagree on this trailer. And I do love... And also, what's your favorite Bad Boys movie? Mine probably is Bad Boys for Life. Second will probably be the first one. And then second one, Bad Boys 2. Probably my least favorite, but it's still a good movie, though. I remember playing a PS2 game of Bad Boys. You know, when I lived in uh, Winder, Georgia. But, you know, anyway. That's when I had a PlayStation 2. We don't need more, but... Yeah, the bad boys are out of this trailer. Freaking awesome. I loved it. I'm really excited for it. So I can't wait for bad boys or die. Bad boys run or die. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. What did you think of this trailer in the comments down below? So, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.